Hey guys! So we're going to clean this front closet today. I've been putting it off for a while, but it's one of those things now where I just keep shoving stuff in and uh, dread going in it. So we're going to crack on and clean this out. But before we do, I'm going to show you what I've brought to um, clean it out first. Because you always need to be prepared before you start cleaning something out. So I have a wet cloth and a dry cloth. So once I get everything out, I can wipe it all down. I have um, a random bag. This bag, I'm going to put everything I'm donating to the thrift store in. And then I have this bag, and this is going to be everything that I'm going to give to um, my nephew. So whenever my daughter grows out of things, um, if it's something I can pass on to them, I always send it over to them. So I'm going to put that in this bag, which I'll probably see them in the next couple days. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I have a garbage pail for any garbage I find. And anything that I find that does not belong in the closet, I will immediately put it where it needs to go. Um, I'm going to bring my coffee tables over so I can just plump everything on that. Uh, you'll probably see my cats and my dog jumping in here and there. But that is the plan. We are going to clean this closet out so it's nice and tidy and easy to get things. So let's get going. So as you can see, lots of coats and random stuff going on in here. So I'm just going to start pulling things out. Um, I've got my winter coat, which I'm just going to put over here till we can put it back in. And a second winter coat. I used to have two coats because I used to do home daycare, so I'd have one that I could just get dirty and one that I could actually, you know, go to stores with. Uh, fall coat. Okay, these. These are my daughter's snow pants. Um, they're good for boys or girls, so I am going to put that in the cousin bag because she has outgrown these, and I don't think we're going to get any more snow. So I'm going to send that to them. So that goes in the bag. Safety vest, because I am one of those paranoid parents. Now this coat, um, my daughter has outgrown this one, but um, it's kind of girly, so I don't think my nephews will wear it. I'll send this one to the thrift store, but I don't have anyone else who can send this one to. So I'll put that in the thrift store bag. Okay, so it's getting better in here. Um, Some more snow pants that she's outgrown. So this will go to the cousins again. She grows so fast. Hey, get out of the Hey, get out of the cousin bag. I gotta put stuff in there. I gotta put these snow pants in there. Silly guy. From the top and work down now that I moved all the coats. So we're gonna see what's up in these this area. Okay. So I have a checkers board game that should be on our gaming shelf and not in the closet. I don't know why it's in there. So that got put over there. And then we have a bunch of Chewy's coats and stuff. Um, he's outgrown a lot of these. So I am going to donate them once I make sure that they're not his size. Yeah, that doesn't fit you anymore, does it? Um, this is Halloween costume. We'll keep that because he might still fit in it next year. But all these other little coats I bought and uh, he got bigger than we expected. Okay, so we're going to go through everything up here. And then we're going to work our way down to all of this stuff that just kind of gets thrown in. So I'm going to start pulling all this stuff down and seeing where it needs to go. Okay, so I've pulled it all down. Um, this my cats don't really use because the dog always attacks them. So that's gonna go to the thrift store. So I'm just gonna put that there for now. Um, this is an old playpen sheet from when I had daycare. So that'll go to the thrift store. Um, an old sweater for my dog that he doesn't fit. So that'll go to the thrift store. These are some skates that don't fit anyone here. So those will go to the cousin bin. Uh, 
Uh, these are some slush pants that my daughter doesn't fit anymore, so those will go to the thrift store. Um, and here is um, the accessories for my carpet cleaner and apparently some more costumes. So I'm going to take these costumes and move them over to the other bin of dog clothes because that's all the stuff that fits him. So I want that together. Um, and then I will put my uh, carpet cleaning stuff back in here if I can fit it all. hope so. I've got all of the um, costumes and clothes that fit Chewy in here. I've got the carpet cleaning attachments in there. Um, and this box is more skates that don't fit anyone here. So those are going to go um, with the cousin stuff. Um, and then these are um, incontinence pads. I like to keep these around. Um, I keep some in the car for when we're traveling with our dog. So if he's muddy or messy or anything, um, we have these. This is another one. It's just a smaller one. And then I'm going to wipe that shelf up there. And then I'm going to put these baskets back up there. And then we'll go through all this stuff. So it's pretty clean up here. But I'm still just going to give it a wipe down before putting all the baskets back up. Okay, so I got those baskets back up there and then I'm just gonna work my way down. Um, this is a toy the cats don't use anymore. So that's going to go in the thrift store basket. Um, these are old collars that don't fit anyone anymore. So these will go, um, actually these will go to my mother-in-law. She can always use more of those. Um, and then we're gonna go through here, which is just our, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? Silly. Okay, so I'm gonna go through here, which is all of our kind of pet supplies, apparently my slippers, some more clothes back there. Um, so I'm gonna sort through that. And then um, I might put this basket up there. Um, just to kind of keep the pet stuff all together, but I'm still debating that. Um, and then I also got those up here. So let's cut through this and see where we're gonna put everything. So on this shelf, um, we have my slippers. I'm gonna put that down with my shoes here. And then after I'll sort that, um, I also have this pointer stick. Um, used to do home daycare, so this was good when we did circle time. I'm gonna donate that because we don't need that anymore. And in here, it looks like we've got a scarf, so I'm gonna put that with our um, hats and mitts and stuff, and then we have these costumes. I know that still fits Chewy, so that's going to go in with his costumes. I know his raincoat still fits him, so that's going to go in with his costumes. Um, this n never fit him, <laughs> uh, but I got it from the thrift store, and I thought it would fit and be funny for Halloween. Uh, so that's going to go back to the thrift store. And then this is his... Stop! His, um, just one of those gloves, that you grooming gloves, so that'll go with the pet supplies. And what's this? Oh, a headband, so that'll go with the um, hat smits. That one's all cleaned out, so I'm gonna wipe that one, that shelf down. Get all that gunk out. I'm gonna dry it, and then uh, that's where I want uh, winter boots to go. So I'm gonna dry that off and get some boots up there. I got the boots up there. Uh, I am going to work on those, but I'm going to clean everything else up around here first. Um, this bag I'm going to put in my van, so then I have that when I go grocery shopping. And these are broken pieces of the coffee table, so I'm going to get rid of those and then we'll tackle down there. Okay, so we got those out of the way, and now we're just dealing with all of this mess. Um, this is a poster. I've had this in a long time. I don't think we're ever gonna put it up, so that is just gonna go into the garbage. Actually, you know what? I will donate that. That's gonna get donated. And then we will go through this pile. Hey, you don't need in there. Okay, and then so I'm just gonna move this over. It's her skateboard. Um, did you need up there? Okay. Um, this bag is our skates that actually fit. 
Um, but we won't be doing any skating for a while, so I'll probably just put this downstairs in the basement storage just to free up a lot of the room. Um, and then in here, oh, I guess these skates, these ones do fit, so these will also need to go in that bag. So this is just an empty box. Okay, so I got rid of the box and the bag that freed up that. If you're wondering what that is, um, we wanted to cut a piece to see what kind of flooring we had underneath the carpet because eventually we're going to get rid of the carpet and do some nice vinyl flooring. Um, so let's get through the rest of this. Okay, so I had this uh, boot tray. It was just kind of hanging over here. I used to have it at the front door for um, when daycare kids came to put their boots in the winter. I'm just going to put it in here as it fits nicely over that weird carpet spot and fits all the boots nicely. And then we just have all of this stuff to deal with. Um, this I'm going to donate. They scratch the thing out of the middle and they just don't use it. Um, and it's awkward, awkward, awkward to store. So that's going to get donated. Um, and then uh, I need to figure out where I'm going to put those rollerblades. I'm thinking about putting a basket there with her rollerblades and her helmet. So they're nice and easy to access. Okay, so I had this bucket in my laundry room. Um, we had like two garbage pails in my laundry room, so we didn't really need it. So I'm gonna use this bucket to store the umbrellas. Um, I always have trouble with umbrella storage. So I thought this might be a good idea because I think you could fit in this corner nicely. I just wanna see if all my umbrellas will fit nice. Um, that one doesn't fit so nice. I'm gonna just hang that one up for now. Um, but these ones all seem to be doing really well. Put that in there. So these three, and we'll just put those over there. This one's more of a just novelty pollen one um, that I really love, but um, I'll probably just, now that I can, and there we go, it'll fit now. Okay, so I'll just put that over there. So my boots, it's not in the way, but it's nice storage for them. And then, um, I'm going to go through here and then I'll probably just hide the skateboard over in this area once I'm done. Um, this is a puzzle tray, so i got to find a different spot for that. Probably just go on my homeschool shelf um, because it doesn't really need to be in here. It'll just get dirty from everything. So I'm going to go put that away and then I am going to take these baskets out, wipe that area down, and then go through them. All right, so I pulled those baskets down and basically they're just a combination of my shoes, my daughter's shoes and miscellaneous stuff. So I am going to start with this basket because I know these are mine and these are mine. And I'm gonna move them to my baskets that they're supposed to be. And then it looks like we've hidden a bunch of socks, probably from Chewy. Um, so these are gonna go into the laundry um, and I'm gonna put my shoes where they belong so then I can sort through my shoes and decide which ones I am keeping and which ones are going because there's too many for the basket. And I am a believer that um, I don't want overflowing amounts of shoes. Um, I just want what fits. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through that, put that stuff in the laundry. Um, and then this looks like garbage and that also looks like garbage. So I will deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna go through my daughter's basket next because I can tell what she uses and what she doesn't. Um, she uses these shoes really hard. And these shoes, these ones she's grown out of. Um, so I'm gonna send that to the cousins. Um, these are just, you know, when we gotta go somewhere nice. Um, I think she's, she's grown out of those, these ones. She's grown out of these ones. So these will get donated. Um, these ones still fit, so we're going to keep those. Um, these ones she has grown out of, so we are going to donate those. This also gives me a good idea of what we need to get before the season changes. Um, and her water shoes still fit, because they're one of those ones where they're double sized. Um, and then we have some hats and mitts and socks. Okay, so her shoe basket has been wiped out outside and in. Um, so that's been all cleaned up and dried. So I'm gonna put all her shoes back in there. Um, and then I'm gonna put it off to the side because I still need to go through my basket and I need to wipe down the shelf and then put everything back on there. So I'm just gonna load that back in and then we'll go through that basket. Okay, so we're gonna go through this basket. 
Um, so these sandals, um, those ones, slippers, these shoes, more shoes, more shoes, um, some winter boots. I'm probably going to get rid of those this year. Um, they just, uh, I got those ones over there instead. So I'll probably just get rid of these, keep those ones because I don't need two pairs of boots. Um, and I don't know why all my baskets keep having mittens in them. I've been all year trying to figure out where all my mittens have gone. Kept going to the thrift store and buying more mittens. So I probably have a ton of mittens now. Um, so these I'm going to wash and then I'll put in the mitten basket. I was also wondering where these went. Um, you know, the washing bags. So I am going to put these in the laundry room and throw the mittens in the laundry basket. And then we'll come back and finish this basket. Okay, I've got my bowling shoes. Oh, there's another one of those. Okay, I gotta bring that to the laundry room. All right, some more shoes. Just empty this all out. Um, and then I am gonna dump this and let that soak while I sort through my shoes. Okay, the basket is soaking, so I am gonna go through this pile. Um, I'm gonna donate these pair. Um, I don't really wear these that often, but I will still keep them because it's my only pair of heels I have now. These are my water shoes, so we'll keep those ones. Um, these are kind of just my um, flip floppy. Um, you know, if you have to go to funeral or something or church. Um, same with these ones. And this one, so those ones go there. My slippers, my bowling shoes running shoes and then I have two pairs of these grungy shoes so I'm going to get rid of one pair keep one pair um, and then these are kind of just my um, everyday shoes grunge work shoes running shoes I think I've done that enough that it'll fit into the basket um, and then now I am going to wipe down that shelf and then get the clean baskets back in on it so I got the inside of the basket cleaned out. So I'm gonna put everything in here and then I'm gonna pull all this out so I can vacuum in there and then put it back in. All right, so I got all of my shoes in my bin. They fit nicely the way it will fit in that shelf as soon as I get that all back in there. Right now I'm gonna get that out and vacuum. Okay, so I finally cleaned it. I found another basket. So I put those in there. Then we have Chewy's clothes and costumes. And then the pet grooming stuff and the carpet cleaner supplies and our coats, some extra hangers, rollerblades, helmet, my shoes, her shoes, the skateboard, the boots and the umbrellas. So we were able to get that all back in there. So now it is a functioning closet that we're able to use without any problems. Um, and then over here, we have the, I ended up going with a plastic bag because we had too much stuff, um, the cousin bag and then the thrift store bag. So I will take that to the thrift store today. We don't live that far away. So that'll go today. And then I will um, send my sister-in-law a message about that and see when I can see her and give her that as soon as I can. Um, for now, it'll go in my laundry room just for storage. But yeah, didn't take that long, but now it's a closet that we can get things and not have to worry about stuff attacking us when we try to get it.